Paul from Wikitree. If you're interested in genealogy, then you're probably also interested in history. The two go together. Recently, we have started a new project on Wikitree to document cemeteries worldwide to aid us in our mission of One World Tree. There are many cemetery websites on the internet. Wikitree will strive to be different by putting extra research into the cemeteries we list. A listing in a cemetery will link to a profile page where, eventually, the profiles will become part of the One World Tree. This means that you will be able to see the relationships between those buried there and their ancestors, helping everyone in their research. As there may be graves with no headstones, or sometimes badly eroded headstones, we will also seek out other sources of information, like funeral notices and obituaries, to find out who else may be buried in the same cemetery. We will also seek to create detailed biographies of those buried so that we can understand the family history better or to develop a picture of a community around the cemetery. Of course, accuracy is important and we will strive to include sources of all the information we use in the profile. We also seek to avoid some of the problems of some other sites we have a discussion forum for those working on this project to communicate with each other. Techniques of photographing, transcribing, uploading, etc. are all discussed. There are no prerequisites to starting except the dedication to accuracy. In fact, many people will learn new things about working on a wiki or research techniques by participating. It is amazing what you find just walking through a cemetery. And through our cemetery project, we hope to give you a virtual walk through cemeteries around the world. Take this gravestone, for example, Thomas Linton Bidolf. Here is a moss-covered gravestone in a small country town called Karkor in New South Wales, Australia. Difficult to interpret, yet there are interesting stories behind the moss and I don't mean the inscription. A little research afterwards shows his family lineage goes back to a Margaret Ligon of Madrasfield Court in England. With a little searching, a newspaper reveals that the Ligons had a long association with the royal family and Madrasfield Court during World War II was earmarked as a possible evacuation place for the royal family in the case of invasion with the government also relocating to surrounding homes. And there are the tragedies. There are many, many more stories slowly being forgotten by history. Join us at Wikitree and keep history alive. Who knows what you may discover hidden and forgotten in the past. Smash the line